Hi there, this is Patricia from patriciafenty.com and today we are going to create some herbal bath tea bags. Now this is a really great idea because having an herbal bath is really lovely but it's not so great for the plumbing and it can be a bit messy. So I have these tea bags by Tea Sack. They're number four, they're chlorine free and they're perfect for bath tea bags. They are just the right size, they're easy to get the blend into, and there's a really neat trick to these that I'll show you at the end. I'll put a link to those below. So the ingredients we are using here are a cup of Epsom salts, and Epsom salts is so soothing for sore muscles, and it's very nice. Then we have a half a cup of baking soda and baking soda is very alkalizing and it's good for detoxing as well. Then we have a half a cup of pink Himalayan sea salt and this is very good to hydrate the skin and it also helps to relax the muscles. Then we are going to use a quarter cup of lavender flowers and lavender is just absolutely relaxing. I mean, it's one of the most relaxing herbs there are, but it's also good for anxiety, for anxiety and insomnia. Then we'll put in a quarter cup of rose petals and rose petals are mildly sedating and they also have anti-inflammatory properties. Then we have a quarter cup of chamomile flowers and chamomile is very calming and relaxing. This is really great for a bedtime blend. Then I'm putting in a quarter cup of calendula flowers. Now calendula doesn't have any aromatic properties to it, but it does have anti-inflammatory properties and it's relaxing as well. So you just wanna add those all together just blend that all together all right and once you have that nicely blended together if you like you can use this just as it is but I'm going to add some essential oils so I have some lavender oil here and I'm going to add 20 drops of lavender oil And then I have some Rose Absolute oil and I'll put 10 drops of that in. And of course, Rose Absolute is Rose Essential Oil that's been put in a carrier oil. So you'll need a little bit more of that. And then if you like, you can put in some chamomile essential oil. This is Roman chamomile oil. It can be quite expensive, so you don't have to add this, but I have some, so I'm using it. So I'm putting five drops of the chamomile oil. And then I'm also adding a little bit of rose geranium essential oil. I'm just going to put in three drops of this because it can be pretty potent I find and rose geranium is good for anxiety and it's relaxing as well. So just blend that together really well. Blend the oils in nicely and as I say you don't have to add the essential oils but it just does add some more fragrance to the blend and makes it a little bit more more aromatic so that's all nicely mixed so now what you want to do is take your little tea bag and fill them up so I'm going to start with about a third of a cup into the bag and this smells so good I wish you could smell this and I put that in that's a third of a cup just add just a little bit more put a little bit more in there there we go. And now I'm going to show you a very nifty trick for these tea bags. I'll be right back. 
All right. So the nifty thing about these tea bags that I love is that you can just fold the flap over like this and then you can seal it by using an iron on very low temperature and just heat seal it just like that and there you go and then the leaves won't leak out of that and it's perfectly sealed so now you can embellish this if you like i'm going to add a little bit of ribbon or some embellishments here so i'll come back and show you what i've done welcome back so I ended up getting six tea bags all together from that recipe and I did add some ribbon and paper tape to sort of make them a little prettier. And so these will be compostable. So you can just put them in your compost unless of course you're using a synthetic ribbon, then you'd wanna just tear that off but yeah you can just put them right into your compost and they'll biodegrade so in order to use these what you want to do is draw your bath water a little bit hotter than you normally would and put the tea bag in and let it steep for about five minutes or so or until the bath water is cooled down enough to get into and that will allow all the herbs to infuse nicely into the water and for the salts to dissolve so that's it now I will put a link for the tea bags in the description box below. I found them at Amazon and I am an Amazon affiliate so I will get a small commission if you use that link. I will also put a link to Mountain Rose Herbs which is the best place to get all your natural products. I'm not an affiliate with them. They're just the best place to get your herbs and essential oils. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more nurturing, inspiring, and creative videos. Thank you for joining me.